Dear PUBG Mobile players, Hello there! PUBG Mobile version 2.2 will be released soon. In this video, I'll be introducing the exciting new contents of this version, which includes the new Battle Royale map, Nusa, updates to the Classic Mode map, Erangel, basic improvements, themed gameplay updates, season updates, social system improvements, and more. We hope you'll like them! Nusa is a 1km by 1km tropical island. Nusa is the smallest map PUBG Mobile has released to date. It also has the most compact structure among all the Battle Royale maps. Other than the many unique sites and locales, it also has distinct interactive mechanics and gameplay. Many new environments and buildings have been added to the new Nusa map, which has a holiday resort theme. First, I'll start by introducing Flame Village, which is in the middle of the map. Flame Village has a flat terrain and is surrounded by mountain slopes. Other than a few brick buildings, other buildings are mostly huts. In the Nusa map, these are the only buildings that can be set on fire and destroyed by firebolts. On the hill to the south of Flame Village is the Science Center. The Science Center has three floors. Every floor is filled with supplies, with locations of intense combat. Although the rooftop gives players a visual advantage, they'll also be exposed as there's nowhere to hide. Risk and opportunity coexist. Pink Beach is the area along the southern edge of the map. Over here, Love Island, which is also covered with pink sand, can be seen in the distance. Wooden beach chairs line the beach, and there is also a giant hot air balloon and a romantic Ferris wheel. It's a great place to take a photo for sharing. Bulan Bay is in the northwest part of the map. You'll find a seaside building complex here. The towering cliffs on both sides create the unique geographical environment of Bulan Bay, which also happens to be the best place to monitor the buildings in the bay. Follow the cliff north of Bulan Bay upwards to find a natural cavern that is connected to the sea. There are also lots of supplies here waiting to be found. Telepack Town is along the southeastern edge of the map. Buildings are densely packed here, with several high-rises, making this one of the most supply-rich areas in Nusa. The town has everything, including a separate villa complex at the center, and tall high-rise apartment buildings with an elevator. These make it convenient for players when searching the buildings for supplies. In addition to the above locations, Nusa also has a shipyard, Regal Resort, Sunset Street, Crystal Bay, and many more new places for you to explore. We've added many interesting and exciting interactive mechanics, such as Super Recall and Zip Lines. Let's start by introducing the Super Recall mechanic. When playing as a duo or squad, if a player is defeated within a certain time period, they won't be eliminated right away. As long as they still have a teammate in the match, and the first blue zone hasn't started shrinking, they will jump back into the battleground with a weapon. When playing solo, players will automatically return to the battleground. You'll need to take note of the following though. You can only be recalled once like this, so make the most of your second chance. Furthermore, Nusa is characterized by its high and low terrain. To make it convenient for players to move around quickly, we've added zip lines at corresponding locations on the map, which players can use as they approach them. However, the ropes of the zip lines can be destroyed. If you come across a damaged zip line, you'll need to first repair it with a tactical crossbow in order to use it. In addition to these two mechanics, the new Nusa map also has PVE, supply crates, beach balls on the beach, a swimming pool for recovering energy, and water jars that players can hide in. You can explore and experience these for yourself later. Vehicles and weapons have always been the focus of updates for players. We've updated one new vehicle and two new weapons. Let's take a look at the new vehicle, the Quad. As a two-seater vehicle, it is light and flexible and is great at going uphill, which makes it perfect for navigating Nusa's undulating terrain. Its excellent stability also means it isn't likely to flip over when traversing complex terrain, giving players a better driving and riding experience. In terms of weapons, we updated the tactical crossbow and added the NS2000. The tactical crossbow can use normal bolts and fire bolts. Fire bolts can set the huts in Flame Village on fire, and when shot at enemies directly, will deal damage and can burn them. The new NS2000 is accurate and powerful. Hip firing uses 12 gauge shotgun shells, while slugs are used when aiming down the sights. Whether it is used in melee or mid range combat, it is still a powerful weapon. Stay tuned. Erango has also been updated. Let's start with the updates made to the hospital. The fence and building of the hospital have been given new paths to give players more options when moving in and out of this area. The interior of the hospital has also been simplified so that players can search for supplies more quickly. Near the hospital, we added an abandoned ambulance and medical supply crates, as well as more vegetation to provide more cover for players. Milta Power has also been updated. We've improved the internal structure of Milta Power, 
to make this area more reachable so the players can see more and plan their routes better. In this update, Erangel will get three renovated ports, which will be found at the Ferry Pier, the Farm in the Southwest, and Sosnovka Military Base in the South. These ports will bring more supplies to these three areas, so make sure to keep these three ports in mind and treat them as new supply collection points. We've added many new mechanics to the Erangel map. For example, there is a shed where bicycles can be obtained, a flash shop that sells discounted items, targeted supply crates that can be found inside buildings, and a trunk that teammates can use to trade items while riding the vehicle, and a gas station for refueling vehicles. Make good use of these new mechanics to win more matches. We've also improved firearms. In this update, we have significantly improved both the SKS and Mini-14 by greatly improving their handling. This will increase their stability when fired consecutively and increase the damage dealt to enemies. Among airdrop weapons, we have adjusted the AUG and MK-14's handling and damage to better balance the airdrop weapons. We've made a series of improvements to the throwing wheel, throwing arc display, item marking effects, and more. We believe these changes will give players a better combat experience. Cycle 3, Season 8, will officially begin after the version update. The new season's rewards include the C3S8 set, C3S8 parachute, C3S8 SKS, and other legendary outfits. Meanwhile, sub-tiers have also been added to Ace and above. Every 100 points is a mini-tier, and players can accumulate stars. We've also added titles to Ace Master and above. Best wishes for ranking up. We've also upgraded the game's social system. We've adjusted the friend limit, synergy required for reserving matches with friends, synergy system, and other social gameplay to an extent. Players are also able to set their gender on their profile card, and new interactive gifts are also available. I believe these changes will give players better interactions and social experiences. Finally, RP M15 and M16 will have new rewards. New characters, outfits, and items will also be added later. The workshop for upgrading firearms will also be improved. In the new version, we've introduced harsher penalties for violating the game rules, so that players will have a better gaming environment. At the same time, more amazing content will be ready for you in the new version. The new themed game mode, Gearfront, will be available at the end of the month. Come and experience the new skills gameplay and the Halloween themed Strange Town. Stay tuned. All right, that's all for this video. We hope PUBG Mobile version 2.2 will give everyone a good gaming experience. For more details, feel free to follow the official PUBG Mobile community. See you next time.